right? Jarun or Majarurun? Jarun being men, Majarurun being who? But is who Majarurun? No. no. So we say, Fi Mahalli Jarrin. So if Fi'lun is, if the Fi'lun is in Fajarat, what is our Fa'ilun, our doer? Who? No. No, no. Um, ta. Ta. No. It's Ithneta 12. Or the two part of 12 is what exploded from it. Right. So what's the mafun bi? There is no mafun oh, bi. Right. In fajarat gushed forth or exploded from it, i.e. from the stone. So what was it that gushed forth? Ithnata. Ithnata. Right. Ithnata 12. Well, that's the two part of 12. Right? Asharata, we said that is Mabaniyun al al Fati, la mahalla lahu min al Arab. It has no position in Arab. Aynan is Tamizun Mansubun, wala matunas bihi, Tanween al Fati. Right? Ithnata, remember, is the fa'ilun, marfu'un, wa alamatu raf'ihi al alifu. Right? Similarly, if ithnatay ashrata, if the two part of 12 was in the position of being mansuban or majrurun, then this is how it would be. Right? Like the ayah in Surah Al Araf. What? Qatta'nahum ithnatay ashrata. Asbatan. Right? Wa Qatta'na hum Qatta'na hum Qatta'na means we appointed whom them right yeah Muhammad yeah we appointed for them is that for them or them 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 if natay ashrata Asbatan. Uma man. Right. What Qatta'na hum? So we appointed them. Ithnatay ashrata. Twelve asbatan. Asbatan means uh, descendants. Twelve tribes of descendants, one that would follow another. Okay. Uh, oh, what we have here is what we f we forgot about. What? What is the 
Uh, not here though. Is it not? Here it's just wow al istinaf continuation. Qata'ana means we divided. We divided. Who did we divide? Hum. Why? Right? Hum. Therefore, we say. Qata'na is fi'lun ma'din mabniyun ala ala sakuni litisali bina Why? Hum is the No Na is damirun mutasilun fi mahalli raf'in Fa'ilun. Na is the fa'il. Right? Hum therefore is the mafulun bihi. Fi mahalli nasbin. Qata'ana hum we divided them. Ithnatay ashrata. Ithnatay here is al halu. So it's mafulun. Al-Halu, meaning the state that they were in when Allah Azza wa Jalla divided them, right? And we know that Ithnatay is Al-Halu, right? Why? We, we, because Asbatan here, Asbatan, is what? It's plural. The singular is sabtun. Right? Or sabtun, depending upon the version. Asbatun is plural. Right? So here, asbatun is not tamizun. It's not tamizun. It is actually badalun. Yeah. It's. Have we done badalun? Yeah, but I can't remember it. Um, it's a substitute for twelve, right? And similarly, umum is a substitute too. Now, so what's happening here in this ayah is that ithnate for our what's important is to understand that ithnate is fi mahalli nasbin al halu right and the jar version the majrur version would similarly be ithnate right so we have two versions of two as part of 12 in the female just like we do the male two versions just like the dual so the ruling is no different with the dual except that we drop the noon right but we don't drop the new the noon because it's an idafa construct like we do ordinarily when the dual is the mudafun in an idafa, but because this number takes the position of the noon in for the purpose of grammar. Right? So that's if na ashara and if nata ashrata, then we have Ithnay Ashara and Ithnatay Ashrata. So, what remains therefore, and this is when it becomes more straightforward, is from 3 to 19, rather 13, from 13 to 19. Right? So the ruling between, or for 13 to 19, is that 
the 3 to 9 is the opposite gender of the counter to noun and the 10 part is the same gender so if I counter the noun is shajara ten and we want to say thirteen trees we would say remember the ten part which is the easy bit is the same gender that would be same gender as a tree yes that would be uh, ashrata. 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 So the, the three would be right. Thalatha. Ashrata shajaratan. Okay, I'll put it. Right. Similarly, if I counted word is male, such as Bustanan which means orchard then 10 would be Ashara Ashara and the three pit would be Thalathata Right? Thalatha Asharata Shajaratan and Thalathata Ashara Bustanan. So a counted noun which is called Tamizun, which is Mabaniyun ala Tanwini al Fati, is the opposite gender of the first part of the number but of course it's not that you're going to think about what the number is first and then use the opposite noun because you're concerned about the noun so you're going to think well my noun is female therefore my number must be male my noun is male therefore my number must be female Right? Is that clear? Yeah. So the first part is the same rule as between 3 and uh, 10. Yeah. Right? The second part is simple because it's the same gender. Yeah. And the third part, the counted noun, well, that is the same too, except that it's singular right and of course it's fixed upon being mansubun so in, in that case if you were to use the uh, plural or dual for example but you wouldn't use dual but if you were to use plural would it grammatically be wrong if you were to use the plural for you mean here yeah yes it'd be wrong yeah. it'd be grammatically incorrect because it has to be singular and it has to be uh Mansubun. In that previous example that we had, Asbatan and Umaman, they were not singular, were they? They were plural. But that's because they were not Tamizun. So depending upon what you're trying to explain. Okay, so if right? it's an explanation of the number, then it's. Then it could be plural. Right? But that's. A different issue really here we're concerned about the number we need to master the number so is that clear yeah. right that the first part is the opposite gender the second part is the same gender and the counter to noun the term is singular and so 14 would be the same there. yes but the the other point to note is as I mentioned that now we say that this is, remember, عَدَدٌ مَبَنِيٌّ عَلَى فَتْحِ الْجَزْعِينِ Then either فِي مَحَلِّ رَفْئٍ If it's the فَاعِلٌ Or فِي مَحَلِّ نَصْبٍ 
If it's the mafun bihi or fi mahalli jarrin. If it's majrurun. So you're going to now perform its i'rab hasba mawqi'ihi fil jumlati in relation to its position in the sentence. But in terms of the indicator upon the actual word, that doesn't change. That remains constant. Right? So whatever we put before this, ra'aytu, ra'aytu thalatha ashrata shajarata. I saw 13 trees. Or 13 trees, 13 trees came, for example. Not that 13 trees could come, but if they did and they were defiling, the point is it stays the same. In 13 trees, fi thalatha ashrata shajaratan. It doesn't become fi thalathi. It stays the same. Right? Three. So, to complete it, 14 is. Arba'a That's not correct, is it? It should be Arba'a Arba'a Ashrata Shajaratan So Arba'a Ashrata is 14 And here it would become Arba'ata Ashara Bustanan. Okay. Fifteen is Khamsa Khamsa Sharata Ashara and Khamsata Khamsata. So we have Khamsa Asharata Shajaratan, 15 trees and Khamsata Ashara Bustanan. And we have Sitta and Sitta Ashara Bustanan. So sitta asharata shajaratan sixteen trees and sittata ashara bustanan. Seventeen is Sabah Sabah Ashara Asharata Shajaratan seventeen trees and Sabata. Sab'ata Ashara Bustanan. Then we have 18. And do you remember 18? Yes. Yeah. It doesn't change for men. 8, sorry, 8, not 18. Yeah, so 8 is Thamani. 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 Remember, it's always Thamani. There are two spellings to this actually. This, but thamani, ashara ta shajara ta nand. Thamaniya. Ta. Thamani. Ta. Thamaniya. Ta. So thamani, ashara ta shajara ta nand. Eighteen trees and. Thamaniyata Ashara Bustanan And the final one Ya Muhammadu is Tis'ar Tis'ar Ashrata Shajaratan 19 trees and Tis'ata Tisrata Ashara Bustanan Nineteen Orchards. 
So to reiterate the point, the adadun here adadun mabniyun ala fatil juzaini. It's fixed upon al fatih. Its i'rabun will be in accordance with its position in the sentence. If it's a fa'ilun, we're going to say fi mahalli raf'in fa'il. If it's a mafunun bihi, we're going to say fi mahalli nasbin mafunun bihi. If it's majrurun fi mahalli jarrin majrur. The counted noun is tamizun, which is mansubun walamatu nasbihi tanwinul fatihi. And those are the numbers from 11 to 19. Is that clear, Ya Muhammad? Inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Are there any questions? Um, yeah, but it's not related to the lesson. Uh, you know, for the time of Buddha, normally when you have the Tanween and Fatim, you always have Alif after the letter. Yes, yeah. not not when it's the Tamarabuta, so no. Tamar no. The Tamarabuta does not uh, just have an alif that follows it for the purpose of writing. But with reading, you already pronounce it, obviously. Sorry? It's part of reading, obviously, you pronounce it, isn't it? No, but it's not even pronounced, it's only for the purpose of writing. Remember, a normal. If you say Kitaban, you don't say Kitaban, you say Kitaban. So whether that's there or not, it doesn't affect the reading. Alright, we'll conclude. Subhanakallahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk.